So how do you pay to put the person on TV? Well, you get a new deal. You get a new deal. You get a new deal. So you're paying for old deals with new money. But the key was, as long as we kept the speed going, as long as we kept the speed, as long as we kept pushing forward, we were never out of business. We didn't even need to make profit. We just needed to get money. If you can just find a way to get money into the bank, you don't even need profit. We were doing two deals a week. In our first year, we turned over nearly a million pounds. I'm 20, I've got a million pound business. But there was no profit. It was just land a new deal so we could put the old deal up on TV. And eventually you get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the hole. So it gets to the point where you owe shit loads of money, which is what happened. Now, this business would have still lasted another two, three years. And this business, I learned a very valuable lesson in, which we're going to come to later. We're going to come back to this business, so pay attention. But I learned a really important lesson in this business. But this business would have lasted another three or four years, except I took a one-month holiday to go training kickboxing in Thailand. I was still training at the minute. I wasn't, I wasn't a world champion by then, but I was still a professional fighter. I was training. I took a one-month holiday. During my holiday, Dan just did shitloads of coke from the company bank account, just emptied the company bank account. No deals were landed, and it all blew up in our stupid faces. Law, fucking court cases, everyone taking us to court. I was literally, I was 20. When you're young, you're scared of things. There's bailiffs at the door. We've lost our office. I was literally sitting there. I couldn't sleep. I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. Everything fucking blew up in our stupid faces. But if I could go back in time and I didn't take that one month holiday and I would have kept it running for another three or four years, and if I knew then what I know now, some of the other lessons I'm going to teach you, this would have made me a millionaire at 20 years old. So, speed. If you are moving fast, you cannot fail. The name of this company was T2 Television, T2. T2 Television proves speed wins. Get the money in, get a deal, produce the advert, get it out, get someone else in, get money. Now, speed, no, we can't wait. When's the meeting? Oh, next Wednesday. No, it's not next Wednesday, it's tomorrow. Tell them we'll go there tomorrow. They can only travel to us next Wednesday. We'll go to them tomorrow. We have to close the deal now. Money, 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 now. Speed. I cannot emphasize this enough because it is my entire business philosophy. If I had to give you one important point, this is the reason this is the first point. Speed. And everybody is slow. And if you start to work like me, you'll realize everyone's slow and that's okay. But things must happen quickly. It's extremely important. The second point of the university. Most of you don't know what a business is. A business is money in. A business is nothing else but money in. It's not money out. It's not your accountant, it's not your logo, it's not your website. A business is money into a bank. So, a drug dealer who has money going into his pocket is more of a businessman than someone with a registered trade logo and an accountant and all this garbage who ain't getting paid. You own a business if you're getting paid. That's what a business is. So please understand this point, because this is a very important point. And this is why this is called the Hustlers University, because you need to understand how to look and approach at a business. So, cash is first. So let me give you an example. People, I say to people, start a company. Start a, how would you start a makeup company? And they go, okay, well, I'd find some makeup, and I'd get a logo, and I would uh, start a trade, I'd get a trademark, and then, you know, I'd need stock, Listen to all the things they're mentioning. Fine makeup. We're gonna have two things. We have things that cost money and things that make money. As a business, your primary concern is always making money. And when people think of how to start a business, all they start thinking about is how to spend money. Oh, I need to find a, a makeup brand. I find some makeup and test it out and then get a logo and get some labels made and get a warehouse. And, and get a website, and da, 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 spend, 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 spend. Where's the money in? Where's the money? This is a business, where's the fucking money? You're talking about spending money. I'm talking about making money. 